Hello there I'm a lot of video makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and today's video is a part 2 of my recent Timo haul. We're basically going to be going through the rest of the things that Timo sent me. Now if you didn't see part 1, I will leave a link to it in the description box down below of course, or you can have a look at it in the i box above. There was a lot of really lovely and delicious things in there. <laughs> So if you like what you see in this one, you'll definitely like what's in the first video as well. Now I did get to choose everything from the website, so of course I do know what's here, but I haven't seen any of it in real life, so we're going to go through that together and have a look at it, and hopefully get some delicious gemstones. And there's also a few tools in here. And of course, like in the first video, there will be links and information in the description box down below, so feel free to go there and have a look. But otherwise, if you want to see what I got, let's just jump right in. Now we're starting out with some gemstones, because who doesn't like some nice gemstones? And these ones here are also very deliciously multicolored. So this is what they look like. So we have some 8mm rounds, some 6mm rounds, and lastly we have 4mm rounds. So these sizes I always use a lot. They're definitely among my most used sizes, along with 3mm as well. But these are, like I said, 8, 6 and 4mm. And they are multicolor agate gemstones and they're very nice and smooth and delicious looking like I said. So these are the 8 mils. you can obviously see them the most because they are bigger. And you basically have different colors of gemstones running all the way along the strand and I really love my multicolored gemstone strands. I mentioned that in part one of this video as well. Because there's different ways you can use them, you can use them completely as they are on the strand and that will look really lovely in any piece. Or you can pick out the individual colors and just use those on their own. So I like that option of using the same strand in multiple ways. Mostly I just kind of use them as they are, except for the occasional, if I pick one out for instance here, I would maybe not want to put the two purple right next to each other. I would mix something else in between. Otherwise I mostly use them as they are. So this one is very multicolored. This one you can see it's got a more of yellows, which I also just like how every strand is different. So side by side you can see there's definitely more yellow in this one. Each strand, like I said, will be different. And then again with the formula that's also very unique. So these are the first strands. And agate is one of my favourite gemstones to use as well. First of all, you can get them in so many different colours. And obviously the beads in different sizes and shapes. And faceted or non-faceted. You can get different textures within the beads. And also one of the main reasons agate is one of my favourite gemstones to work with is because the holes tend to be larger than a lot of other gemstones so you'll be able to use them for a lot more different things so if you want to add them to thicker gauge wire or cord you have a lot more option with that with agate as opposed to say a lot of other gemstones that tend to have quite small holes in the beads so these ones are really good for that purpose as well next we have some other gemstones now these are quartz and they're also quite small but they are very delicate looking but at the same time very elegant so let's just have a little look you can already see how much they sparkle because they have been faceted just move them slightly you can just see pow 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 there's really sparkle a lot and i'm very much a sucker for sparkle <laughs> But they do have a lovely delicate colour to them, so they have a slight tone of like a purple hue. But then they also appear to kind of have a bit of a coating that makes them even more sparkly. So they're just absolutely beautiful. They will look so lovely in any project obviously, but also because they're so small they're not going to really stand out. But they're just going to add that lovely touch of sparkle and just a gentle touch of colour. And honestly make any piece really elegant looking I think. So they are very beautiful and very pleased with them. And again because they're quartz, which is another gemstone that I really like a lot, even on small beads, the holes tend to be more generous than a lot of other gemstones. So, in my opinion, hematite, agate and quartz, they're my top three gemstones in relation to holes and beads because they tend to be more generous than most others. So that's just a little tip if you sometimes struggle with the size of holes compared to what you want to use them for. Now, like I mentioned, I also got a few tools. So this is the first one. Now, I actually have something like this already, but there's a reason that I got this one. And some of you might already know why that is. Because the one I have is blue colored, but this one is purple. So I saw it, and because these kinds of things are quite inexpensive, I thought, why not just get another one just for the sake of a color I like? The other one I can always give away or something. So it's a ring sizer. So what you basically do is you kind of find roughly maybe where you think your size is of ring that you need, and then you try it on. So it's literally like a ring you can try on. This one is a little bit tight. So I'll go up in size and see if that fits. Now that one fits, it's still a little bit tight. Let's see if I can get it back off again. There we go. So you basically just use this to find your ring size, or of course, especially if you sell the jewelry that you make, 
and you obviously see your customers face to face. You can then find out what ring size they are so you know exactly what size you need to make the ring for them. So that is very handy and I just saw this in purple and I just had to get it so that was my reason. <laughs> But then some more gemstones is this absolutely beautiful strand of morganite. So I do love morganite and there's a few other gemstones as well that tend to be very delicate in their colours. I really love bright colours and I love neons and everything. But I do also really like when it's quite neutral and delicate like this. Oops, the stone fell off. Because they just have a different feel to them, I tend to think they can be very romantic for a piece that you're making. So just the colours in themselves make it look quite romantic, obviously if that's what you want. But they're also just very delicate. And as you can see, you've got multiple colours here on the same strand. And again, they all go together lovely because as you can see, they work. So if you just want to make, say, a beaded bracelet out of this, that would be absolutely beautiful. But again, you can also go in and pick out, say, all the blues and just use them in one project, or the purples, in my case. <laughs> and I just feel they'll give a really delicate look to any piece that you use them in. And these are six mil, so it's a lovely size. And actually the holes are fairly generous. So that's also a nice plus. They can be a little bit hit and miss with some gemstones. But these ones are quite nice for that. So that's also some stones I'll be happy to use. Next I also got some lobster claw clasps here. Because I feel like you can never have too many of them first of all. And second of all I kind of want to try them out and see what they were like. So I'll just get a few out. Sometimes though you can get some that aren't that nice quality, but most of the time the ones I get are usually always fine. Now you'll always find among say a pack like that a couple that don't work properly or they kind of break a bit, but that's just how it is. And most of them will usually work just fine and so far these seem to work absolutely perfectly fine and it's a nice size, they look nice. So I'll be very happy to use these. And these are a 12 mil, so it's a nice kind of in-between size I feel. It's not too large and not too small and it fits nicely with most projects without kind of being overpowering in the size and taking away from the project itself. So they will definitely be handy and be used. Now sticking on the silver path, I also got a strand of hematite here that are silver coated and these are 4 mil and they're very beautiful and bright silver. That's just what I like. Sometimes you can get some silver coated hematite that's not quite the right silver I find, but these ones are very beautiful. I like when they're really nice and bright and just your typical silver color. Very lovely to use and like I mentioned before, hematite tends to have very generous holes and you can see that in this one as well. You can get quite sizable wire or cord through there even though these are formal beads so they're quite small. But I can never have too much of hematite in any way because I use this a lot. Now I think next we need to have a look at another tool. So I got a bit of a tool set here and there is a reason for this. First of all, let me just get it out. And this is basically a set of basic pliers. And of course, I already have something like this myself from back when I started making jewelry. I think everyone more or less starts out with one of these sets of pliers. And I do still have those pliers and I do sometimes use them so you can't really ever go wrong with them. Are they the best pliers in the world? No, but that's not really the point of them. You can always upgrade if you find that you want to continue making jewellery. But I wanted to kind of get another one. I still have the pliers for my original set but I got rid of the case because I just don't like storing my pliers like that. I find that more cumbersome. But of course it is handy to have, especially say if you travel with your pliers, then it's really handy to have the case but I don't really do that. So there is a bit of a difference though. This set does seem to have some things that I haven't really seen in most other kind of starter plier sets. First of all, you have a measuring tape. I don't recall seeing that before. We have, this is like an awl. I've also not really seen that in most starter sets anyway. You have this, let me just cut that off. Jump ring opener, which I definitely have never seen in a starter set, but I recently myself discovered this. I've known about it for a long time, but I only recently got one for myself. And I've actually found that I really like using it. The reason that I never got it before is because I kind of just thought, I'll just use my pliers, I don't need it. And of course you don't need it, but I've actually found that it's really handy to have. So that's a nice little bonus. You basically put it on your finger like I did and you just use one set of pliers to open up your jump rings instead of two pliers and it can be a little bit cumbersome sometimes. But I found that it actually works really well, especially if you have a lot of jump rings to open. You have two pair of tweezers. And obviously notice as well, this is purple pliers and purple tools mainly. So again, I've seen tweezers before in sets like this, but only usually ever one pair, not two different ones like this, but that's nice and handy. So that's an extra. And then of course we have the pliers themselves. So let me just get those out. 
So we have round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, and then of course cutters so you can cut wire or anything else. So they're basically your basic pliers and you can really do with these and not get anything else ever. Of course, if you want to continue making jewelry, you do probably upgrade at some point or get more pliers. But as a basic starter set, this is really all you need. The only thing I will say, I didn't realize the chain nose pliers are actually serrated inside. That's a little bit of a shame. See if you can see it there. You got kind of ridges going along. Personally, I don't like these kinds of pliers. I personally prefer when they're just flat because these will mar if you're using them for wire, they're gonna scratch and damage your wire far more easily than if they were just flat. But of course, they're not useless, you can still use them. It's just not my personal preference. But otherwise, I do think this is actually a really good set. And the fact you do get extra things that I haven't usually seen in starter sets like this. Now the reason that I got this, like I mentioned, I had a reason for this, because like I said, I did have the pliers from my original set, just not the bag anymore. But I actually plan on using this for a video in the near future, but then you can just use the case as well, pack everything back in it. Don't run away from me. <laughs> so you can definitely use the case to store them if you prefer that. So you always know where they are, you're not gonna lose them. And they're also kind of just, tucked away nicely and safely but of course especially if you travel you can also easily use it for that so that's a nice little set now the next thing i want to look at are these gemstones here so you can see they're lovely and bright blue you can see that straight away but let's just release them from the bags we again have eight mil surprise surprise we have six mil surprise surprise <laughs> and finally we have four mil surprise surprise and these are all blue coated onyx. So looking at the larger ones first, you can kind of see more detail in them. You can see we have different tones of blue and they all work together nicely. So again, these will just work lovely in a piece by themselves. And you really get the interest of different tones of blue. So really light to almost a little bit white up until really dark border lining black, at least very, very dark blue and obviously everything in between. So I really like that. And they are also striped onyx. So if we just try and have a little bit of a closer look, you'll see on some of them, you have kind of little texture almost and pattern on them, but it's obviously all random and natural. And it just gives extra life and interest to the beads, I think you can see there especially. You have some faint lines. So it's not like each bead is just one color. Within each bead, you also get an array of different tones. And then let's just have a look, because I saw one that was really interesting. This one here, I've not seen that before. It's almost like it has little eyes on it, but it just makes it really interesting and very unique. That's what I love about gemstones in general. They're so unique and natural. Every single one is different, and that's what I really, really like. You can see it's almost like little eyes or glasses almost. That's really fun. So that's the 8mm. We have the 6mm. They're a little bit brighter overall. A little bit less range from light to dark, but I also don't mind that. Again, each strand will be different from each other. You also have inclusions and you have different tones within each bead. And of course, finally, the four mil, very similar to the six mil in the sense they don't have quite as much range with the colors as the eight mil, but they still have the light and darker and inclusions as well. Of course, they're smaller, so you have to get a little bit closer to see it, but they do still have a lovely effect and are very bright. So. All these will definitely stand out in anything that you use them for. And these kind of strands are always in my basic staple stash because they're just so easy to use and it's always nice to be able to just grab a size in a certain color that you need and you just have it in your stash. So I always make sure to have strands like this, whether it's blues, purples or other colors and then have them in different sizes. I find that really handy because I don't want to be making a project and then find out I actually don't have the beads that I need. It's always annoying because you're less likely to finish them if you have to then wait for them to come in, don't you? <laughs> Now, next up, I thought we'll have a look at the last tool. And this is definitely something I don't already have. So this is a saw. I have been curious about things like this for quite a while, kind of a different type of jewelry making where it's a bit more metal smith like. So for instance, using saws and soldering and things like that, I've always been very intrigued by that. And I do hope to kind of do more of that in the future, get into it. But I thought I would start out with a saw. So these are basically the blades that you obviously attach to the saw. So let's get that out and have a look. And this is the saw itself. So it looks a bit weird, but you open this up and of course you need to create that space for the actual blades to fit into. And you'll then attach them in between here. 
and you use this to saw metal with. And I have a sheet of copper that I would love to kind of get into other shapes, but obviously for that you need a saw that can get through the metal. So that is definitely something I would love to get into and try out. So I kind of thought, well, I need a saw, so why not get one? <laughs> and because I already have that sheet of copper, I do have something to start with. So that's a nice little safe tool that I got there. <laughs> so we are almost at the end. We have one thing left, well, technically two, but they're kind of the same. <laughs> and that's two strands of beads. So these are also, as you can see, multicolored. Again, let's just release them from their prism. We got eight mil and we got six mil. Surprise, surprise. So these are really lovely and also quite delicious looking. Oh, we had another little escapee. And that's because the holes are quite generous. So they're actually generous enough to go over the knot at the end. So let's have a little bit of a closer look. So they are also, I think, really delicious looking. There's just something about them that just screams deliciousness, I think. So they are not as bright as, say, the ones we looked at earlier. Kind of where they almost look like sweets you can eat, which obviously you can't. They're a lot more delicate with the color which I also really like. I love my bright colors but I also like things like this where it's more delicate and I guess in a way a bit more neutral as well. But what these are they are agate which is like I mentioned previously one of my favorite gemstones especially in relation to hole size they tend to have more general holes like you just saw because they're coming off the cord even though there's a knot on there and these are really lovely so we've got kind of neutrals slightly green we have darker greens lighter greens we have some pinks but kind of not a bright pink more of a muted pink it's almost a bit of a purpley tone we have some browns some more clear ones almost red ones down here as well it's a really lovely mix and again you can see they all literally go together because they're on the strand anyway so you can just use them as they are actually we have quite the purple right there as well and they all have this very lovely texture to them let me just get a little bit closer because they are also dragon pattern agate so that's kind of a type of agate that you can normally find and they just have lovely texture and pattern on them they're also actually slightly faceted but it's a bit more of a softer facet so it's not quite as sharp edges as you could say again that kind of goes with the color tone that's a bit more delicate so that's the eight mil and then let's have a look at the six mil that's basically obviously the same they're just two different sizes but that's what this looks like we again have the same different shades of green we have some kind of more clear ones we have some whiteness here and there we've got some browns we've got the pink and reddish ones there's also more purple here on this one so of course they also because they are basically the same just different sizes they will work great in the same project but together and of course go together because they already match but it's handy if you need to use different sizes of the same stone and colors and things like that in the same project. Things like this are really handy to have. So you aren't just confined to using one size, but this is what the six mil looks like. So I'm very pleased with those as well. So that was everything in this part two haul from Timu. Some different tools, some findings, and of course, some delicious gemstones. Now, don't forget, like I said, you will be able to find links and more information in the description box down below. And also don't forget that discount. And if you didn't see part one already, feel free to check that out as well. Like I said, if you like this, you will probably like that. And finally, thank you to Timu for sending me all these things. I am very pleased with all of it and I can highly recommend every single thing. There's nothing here that I'm not going to use or that I don't like. So I really hope you enjoyed going through looking at all these things with me. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.